projects have a lot of moving parts, and oftentimes it's so easy to store files wherever it's easiest in the moment, which can then lead into a folder full of messy files that's hard to filter through. Getting organized and having a great file management system is essential for your workflow and also for your team. It allows for efficiency and it'll allow you to navigate your files whenever you need it, whether it's today, tomorrow, the next week, or even the next year. Hi everyone, I'm Jethro and I'm a designer here at Farm. In this video, I'm excited to share with you all our best practices in organizing files here at Farm. I'll also be sharing some productivity tools that we like to use to keep our projects in order. When a new project comes in and the client starts sending files your way, it can be pretty overwhelming trying to figure out how to organize your files and keep everything in check. So I'd like to share with you six tips on how we at Farm Design like to use file management to be highly effective and productive. I'll be using a project called Wild Friends that had a lot of moving parts as a case study to demonstrate these tips. Here at Farm, what we like to do is we like to create project folders specific to the client. And within that folder, we have subfolders that are clearly categorized. So for instance, for Wild Friends Nut Butters, we created a folder that had seven subfolders. And the folders are Project Brief, Assets, Research, Concepts, Native, Preview, and Production. The categories can change depending on the scope of work or your process. But the key takeaway here is to keep it in the simplest manner for you and your team. Think about it as organizing your files from start to finish. So with Wild Friends, you've got your creative brief or your project brief. And your project brief sets the stage and guides all aspects of the project. Then you've got your assets folder. And this is where you want to store all the files that your client sends you. So for Wild Friends, they sent us dial line, copy, images, pretty much all the components that we needed internally to create the full label. Then you've got your research folder. And this is where you want to store all of your findings, initial strategy, and research. Your concepts folder is where you want to store all of your initial exploration and ideation and sketches. And if you're working with a team, make sure you create folders specific for each team member. And this is so that they make sure that they place all of the assets that they use in their designs within their respective folders. If you need to open your coworker's document because they're sick or vice versa, it's really no fun when you open the document and there's missing links, images, or fonts. You really don't want to be that person. The next folder is what we call native, and this is where you want to place your dialed in, fully fleshed out designs. So for instance, for Wild Friends, this is where we place all of our full label designs organized by its respective version. Now that you have your folder structure in place, let's talk about naming your files. Having a solid naming convention is really important for comprehension. It can be done by having a consistent and intuitive hierarchy. The ultimate goal when naming a file is to be able to know what it is without opening it. Try using descriptive names, but keep it simple and don't go too overboard. For example, consider starting your naming conventions with the high-level client name. Then, use an underscore to create separation between your simple descriptions as it allows for an easy read. You want to make sure you use an underscore and not other symbols so all systems, whether it's a Mac or a PC, can read your file. Versioning makes your file scalable and it allows for you to keep track of the number of rounds you or your team have worked on. So let me give you an example. So for Wild Friends, you want to start with your project and client name. So that is Wild Friends Jar Packaging. Then you want to lead it off with a short description. So in the case of this project, it's full label, then native, then its respective version. The next folder is what we like to call the preview folder. And this is where you'll be storing everything you want your client to review, usually in a PDF format. So this includes design presentations, research, whatever it is. Just make sure it's under 10 megabytes if you're going to email it. 
and lastly, your production folder. And this is where you want to store all of your print-ready files that are ready to be sent to the client or your vendor. So now that you got your files all organized, how do you stay on top of your projects and make sure that nothing falls through the cracks? Yes, we have our mole skins and our, our to-do list and our checklists and so forth, but why not leverage project management tools that will make sure everyone in your team is on the same page? A project management tool we like to use here is called Monday, and it's something that we pay for annually. What's so great about it is it not only has plenty of project management features, but it allows us to take a look at all of our projects in a snapshot. Internally, we use color to see the status of all of our projects. So for instance, we use red for all the projects that we need to do. Yellow means it's with the client and green means it's done. And that's what we want. Then there's Trello. And we use Trello to oftentimes organize our to-do list or sometimes input client feedback. The last thing we like to do internally to stay on top of our projects is printing things out. Yes, it may sound a little old school, but sometimes when you're dealing with big projects, it's good to see what you're working with. Especially when it comes to photography, contact sheets are lifesavers. So for those of you who needed guidance on organizing your files, or maybe you already have a system in place, I hope everything that I've shared in this video will help you in making improvements to keep your projects in order and in place. So remember, utilize your folders and categorize accordingly. Keep it simple and version your files. Leverage project management tools when you're working on multiple projects. And finally, it will only work if everyone follows the system, especially in a team environment. So if you have any advice on file and project management, we'd love to hear it. Comment down below, you know the drill. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button. And as always, if you want to be part of our tribe, make sure you subscribe. And as always, life is better when you do good work. Bye.